High tide at Runswick Bay. As you can see, there's some big waves. Uh, I might not get on the beach. I thought I'll come and have a look. We'll uh, look um, going north towards Port Mulgrave. Might have an hour. Uh, who knows? Might be able to get a couple of bays done. But uh, yeah, sometimes it can be. Uh, sometimes it can be good, especially if there's been a decent tide. Definitely a decent tide. Looking at that, it's all the way up to the uh, edge of the beach. Yeah, I can have a look. Uh, I may even have still got the head torch as well, so I could even have a look out to uh, the grey shales when it starts getting a bit dark, depending how I'm feeling. Uh, it's very wet this morning. I've uh, changed clothes, uh, feel recharged. The sun had come out a minute ago, and uh, yeah, but why not? Have another hour. We'll make our way through the little maze of cottages. I should get some big guest on Armanites in their garden. I think the concrete ones are not real. If they were real, I don't think they'd be in the garden. Ah, so there's not much beach. Kind of expected that really, I'm quite early. Normally leave it a couple of hours before coming out, but there ain't enough daylight, so eh, not too bad. No, this is the high tide now, so it's not gonna get any higher. Can have a little look, see if there's all in this, this grease slopes. Head across the rocks, see how far we can get. Probably not that far, but well, we can spend an hour looking, can't we? And if we find no, we find no. Ah, straight on the beach and uh, the few bits around. Uh, that's had one in. That's not. I just pick that up. Uh, oh, look at that big negative. That's a teaser if ever I saw one. Yeah, a few bits to, have, to be looking through. A bit of shale come down as well, so yeah, see what we can find. Keep trying to get me. I just come across a nodule though. Is it a teaser or is there something in it? Let's have a look. Oh. hard to tell. Little ovum shell there, Dacryoma is it? Ovum? It's definitely fossiliferous. I can't see any ribbon, it probably needs a wash and a nice little rock pool just to see. I might do that before I eat it because uh, usually if I eat them from here they break. Fresh out of the cliffs, that's a uh, bit of an outer world, but it's not it's not all preserved unfortunately, so we'll go down there. I'll just take that nodule home anyway, it looks like it should have something in it to be honest. It should have more faith. I'll just take nodules and I think there's gonna be something in them. What's that there? 
Ah. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's all there. I don't know, maybe, maybe a tiny bit missing. A little bit blown. They always seem to blow just as they go back into the outer world. But uh, it's a nice fresh one out of the glyph. Definitely in there. There'll be a smaller one inside it, so... Ooh, big piece of ildi there as well. <sighs> a big piece of ildi. I see another nodule down there as well. So have you spotted it yet? Probably a big one. Hey! Do, 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 do. Look at that, it's a beautiful deck. Oh, that's a lovely one. Ah. Nice. Rough seas doing its work, washing these nodules out. Oh, crusty knack. Oh, that is a crusty one. Put that on there. This one's obviously been here and uh, been tapping a few nodules. Don't look like they've been very successful. Uh, yeah, it's a bit worn that one. Might have a middle, you never know. Oh, it's that over there. Ah. Oh, it's had one in, but it's busted. We all had a lot of rain this morning and overnight, so good chance of uh, stuff being uh, dropped out of the cliff. The rain always helps. And that one. Uh, still not watch beach, but we, we carry on going, but I have just come across this That so looks like Decent nodule I can't see out inside it Looks fresh out of the cliff, so I'm assuming it's come from all the way up there and uh, and rolled down here, so Give it a little tap and see if there's out inside it Must have, must have rolled down from up there. Just need to find a suitable place to anvil it. It should do it. Oh, that looks interesting as well. A bit flat, but we'll, we'll have a look at that as well. Look at this rubbishy one first. Could have an ildi or something in it. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Look at that. Ah, oh, lovely. There's a big fat duck in there. All uh, right, that can go straight in the bag. Yay. Who would have thought that would be laying there? Ah. Kettle Ness over in the distance, Kettle Ness Point. I reached the cut-off point now, you can see the, uh, the waves are coming right up to the cliff. If I was a brave man I could sprint it, but I don't think I'm that quick. Let's count it. See this big wave coming first, look at that. Followed by another one. Yeah, the waves are coming in too fast, you couldn't even sprint the distance. So yeah, I guess I'm going to be hanging, hanging around here for a bit until uh, the tide dies back. It should start going out with uh, a vengeance in the next half hour or so. Well, well past the peak now, so 
should be slowly ebbing away a few bits to look at around this section as well so we can uh, we can have a look through these uh, these rocks not to be a lot like but yeah we can have a look sometimes it's good to be stuck by the tide it uh, makes you look harder it's amazing you can be stood there and uh, suddenly you see something that you'd have walked past otherwise so uh, yeah half an hour then we can uh, probably continue around the point won't get all the way to Port Mulgrave today but I think um, we'll probably get to the end of the other set of rocks I'm not going very far but I have spotted this nodule down here it's very round oh it's been split already <laughs> so there was an ammonite on top there and there was one inside but it's a split nodule teasing never mind that's ah, still here still waiting for that tide to go back a bit it does look to be ebbing a little bit but not enough uh, did pick this up it was a bit battered so I've given it a tap and actually it's not too bad so yeah even if that side doesn't prep so well um, it may just prep from uh, from this side so it could be a nice little ammonite that so yeah finding the odd thing let's see just got to look harder Get another update we're still here still can't quite make it even in between the waves unfortunately the, the leading edge of the wave is the far end of the bay and then it's coming in this way so yeah not a chance yet still gonna be another uh, yeah, 20 30 minutes I think however I have been looking and I have spotted some interesting so can you spot the fossil there is a big clue because it's in the middle of the screen. Oh, is it there though? Oh, yes it is. Look at that. Lovely. Nice little Dactyloceros ammonite in there. That'll probably prep up nice and easy straight out of the cliff. Probably not been sat there very long. Yeah, cool. So yeah, back to back in 20 minutes if I can uh, get across let's see oh, it's slowly getting there slowly getting there it's only just touching the cliffs now as much it's not whapping up against them as much as it was uh, I still get wet feet though but I've just been stood here I must have walked past it however many times oh, another little duck there's a bit of damage to it there but it's gonna have a middle so it make a smaller one might even be all there from that side I think yeah probably just a bit of, bit of damage there maybe but yeah still a dark well, it looks like it might have sufficiently ebbed still a good chance of getting my feet wet though oh yep Seems to be just waiting for the lull. Seems to get like a few big waves and then suddenly it just starts to lull off a bit. It's definitely almost clear there. I think I could probably do that. Just a matter of timing. That's a lot coming together. Do -do -do -do, high ground. Even so, they're not coming that far actually now. Right, is that going to be a lull? So close, so close. Alright, we're going for it. Quick! Oh. Don't you dare get me from there. 
we're across. Right, carry on fossil hunting. Oh, look at that, it's like an ancient fossilised ham joint. I have a feeling it's probably a bellum right, I will give it a crack. I'll show you if there's oat in it. I did see, oh, this though, ah, that's better. There we go. It's actually a double dac. I think there's a tiny one in the end there. But yeah, that's definitely in there. I can see the uh, ribbing going all the way around. That's nice. So yeah, let's see what else here. But uh, yeah, I'll give that uh, fossilized ham bone a, a bit of a crack. See if there's oak in it. Uh, just managed to make it over the rocks. Starting to lose the light a bit now, but I'm gonna carry on hunting until it gets dark and then use my head torch to get home. Uh, Oh, ducky duck. A bit worn on the outer, but it'll have a nice inner. That was one, but it's dead. Hey. Oh, there we go. Another one in there. That's two in quick succession. Might give that, uh, maybe not actually. Might give it a quick tap. Never know. So yeah, just gonna keep having a look. Looks lighter than it is on the phone, but uh, it's almost dark. Ah, on the way back, I'm uh, I'm on the last uh, last patch of rocks before Brunswick, so not far. Ten minutes. I think I'll be in just, just as it's uh, getting really dark. Got the head torch on, just helps across these rocks. But uh, yeah, quite a few, uh, whoop, quite a few fossils. Uh, shifting rocks there. Woo. I've uh, speedily headed back from uh, where I was at the end of the uh, second patch of rocks. So yeah, just the last few rocks to go. NB and then uh, back to the car and that's another day's fossiling done. Just need to decide where to go tomorrow. Oh, that's me done. Oh, talking to a couple on the beach for, for 10 minutes, so uh, yeah, it's just, just about gone dark and uh, We've got the street lights on, walking through Runswick Bay. So yeah, had a, had a few, uh, few bits and pieces. Can't be bad.